Welcome to our demonstration on how to upgrade a vSphere host using the ESX CLI command from within the ESXi shell. Using the ESX CLI command to upgrade vSphere hosts is beneficial in situations where vSphere Update Manager is not available and where you are unable to boot a host from the ESXi installer. For instance, hosts located at a remote office or standalone hosts that are not centrally managed by vCenter server. We begin the upgrade at the host console. Here we see that the host is running ESXi version 5.0. In preparation for the upgrade, we will first log on and enable the ESXi shell and SSH service. We will perform the upgrade from the ESXi shell, and we will use SSH to copy the upgrade image onto the host. From the System Customization menu, go to Troubleshooting Options and enable the ESXi shell and SSH service. Next, we will copy the ESXi 5.5 software to a data store on the host. To do this, you need to first download the ESXi 5.5 offline depot and then copy it to the data store. In this example, we have downloaded the offline depot to a Linux desktop, where we use the secure copy command to copy it to the data store. We now return to the host console and type Alt and F1 to log into the ESXi shell. Prior to doing the upgrade, we need to identify the image profiles that are available from the offline depot that we copied to the host. To do this, we run the ESX CLI Software Sources Profile List command and pass in the location of the offline depot. We see two image profiles, a standard image profile, which contains all the software packages, and a no-tools profile, which contains all the packages with the exception of the VMware Tools package we will use the standard profile to upgrade the host. With the name of the image profile, we can now upgrade the host by running the ESX CLI software profile update command and pass in the location of the offline depot together with the name of the image profile that we want to use. As this command will generate a lot of output, we will redirect the output into a text file named output.txt to make it easier to review the results after the upgrade completes. The update is complete. We can now review the output.txt file to see the results of the upgrade. Notice that the output indicates that the upgrade completed successfully and that we now need to reboot the system for the upgrade to take effect. The remaining information captured in the output.txt file is a summary of all the VIBs that were updated. Let us reboot the system now. The reboot is complete, and we can see that the host is now running ESXi version 5.5. This concludes the demonstration on how to upgrade a vSphere host using the ESXCLI command from within the ESXi shell. Thank you.